Last weekend, I had a really interesting incident on stream. Is that like I beat Pikmin while I was uh, waiting for Master Detective Archives to download, and I was sitting like watching the credits, and I noticed it was like beginning to stutter. I, I noticed like it had like frame rate drops. I noticed there were problems with the console, and I was just like, "Oh wow!" You know, I was doing this on stream. I wonder what's going on. I've never seen this before. You know, I don't have problems with frame rate drops on uh, on Switch, and like this is going through the credits, which I, I've beaten this game like a couple of times. Never noticed this before, so I'm just like, "Okay, I'm gonna." take my phone and i'm gonna like investigate this kind of go into like what the details of what this is you know what the problem is with like these the stuttering right why is my switch stuttering so i do it i do a quick google search i research and i realize that like oh when your system memory is a little bit too clogged right when you're downloading a game like sometimes the console can't handle it and it stutters right that was the mystery right so like you know i immediately just you know, pause the stream. I, I spend a couple of minutes like finding all the games I want to archive and like removing them from my console. Like th this has never happened to me before because I've only just recently moved to like digital only or like, well, digital primary. You know, I bought physical for Tears of the Kingdom, but like generally speaking, I, I have been playing more, buying more digital games. So I had a lot of digital games on my console. So like I've, I have a lot of them on there. So like I'm archiving a lot of them and like suddenly like everything's fine, right? You know, that was the problem. Okay. Problem solved. But not a big deal. You know, I haven't addressed this publicly because, you know, like like I said, I fixed it in like less than an hour, like maybe half an hour, like maybe 45 minutes of like me researching this like on air and like figuring it out and like talking about it with you guys and like coming to a conclusion and like fixing the problem. Like it was no big deal. But it really dawned on me like afterward, like when I was, um, you know, I think at work, actually, like kind of thinking about the whole experience, like. Is this what people are talking about when they try and claim that Switch has um, frame rate drop issues? Because we've all seen this, right? We've seen people like claim that the Switch is underpowered and that's why all these games stutter and why games can't run on them and why they're these games are such problems, but like, you know, I, I've demonstrated like Doom 2016 on Switch. You know, I've demonstrated like these games. I've demonstrated some of these ports. I've demonstrated some of these versions of these games. And like, there is no real frame rate drops. There are no like real visual drops in quality. There are no real issues with these games. However, you know, considering the circumstances we found ourselves in with like the overloaded, overloaded data circuit, like a cert system, like I... I found myself wondering if, like, if people experience stuttering on Switch, if they have issues with, like, their games running, I wonder if that specifically is the problem. And here's the thing, though. It's such an easily fixable problem. It It is essentially a, a non-issue if you know how to fix it, right? And uh, the thing is... Everybody wants to pretend it's because, like, the Switch is underpowered or that it can't run these games or that, like, it's chugging on, like, every single game imaginable, right? It can't actually run Tears of the Kingdom, right? Oh, look at all these cloud games. Like, they say all this stuff, but, like, I've never seen any of that, you know, other than watching a credit sequence in Pikmin where it finally started stirring because of the overclocked memory. And I, I really have to wonder, like, if people are, you know, demonstrating frame rate drops on Switch, you know, if they're demonstrating like this kind of stuttering, you know, on Switch, I wonder if this is how they're doing it, how they're replicating this uh, this facade that the the game doesn't run well on this hardware. Because you know that that is demonstrably not true. It's not a real thing at all. But like this might prove an explanation as to like why so many people like continue to push this farce that the Switch can't run games. Is that like because of this weird, obscure technical issue that does exist that does uh, that does um that is annoying but is easily correctable it, it's not because of the hardware it's because of the data storage that is a completely different thing